How do you write X unit tests for dependency injection services? In an X unit test class, we're going to write unit tests for this category service class. When we initialize the category service class, we need an instance of the I category storage service type. Now, the way we can do that is we can mock up the I category storage service, and then when we create a new instance of the category service, we can use the mock service and the object from it to pass through the instance. Before we write XUnit tests, you'll need to know how to set up an XUnit test project and the setup needed to mock services. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like for the video. And let me know in the YouTube comments if you're currently unit testing your dependency injection services. Now let's find out how we create an XUnit test project. To create a new XUnit test project, in Visual Studio 2022, we create a new project, we do a search for XUnit, Select X unit test project in C sharp. Give the project a name, so we'll call it round the code.bi.tests. Set a location and a solution name. And we also need to select the framework as well. And when we press the create button, it will set up our X unit test project. In our X unit project, we need to make sure that we've got a dependency to the project for the classes that are being unit tested. We're going to be unit testing the category service class. This is in round the code.di. So in round the code.di.test, we need to add a dependency to it. So we add a project reference and just tick the round the code.di project. We also need a new get package to mock services. To do that in Visual Studio, we go to Tools, New Get Package Manager, and Manage New Get Packages for Solution. We click on the Browse tab and do a search for mock, M O Q. We select round the code.di.test because that's the project that we want to install it on, and we're ready to go. With the XUnit project set up, we can now write our unit tests. Before we do that, you can download the code example for this tutorial by going to roundthecode.com slash examples. There's also a link for it in the YouTube video description. In the category service, we want to write tests for this method here, the get category type. Now it calls an instance of the category computer storage service, and this is the type of I category storage service. It calls the types property and then calls single log default based on the ID. So we don't have a real instance of this, so we need to mock up the types for it. We do that by calling our mock service that we created earlier. So that's the category computer storage service mock. If we have a look up here, we're storing it in this private read only field. So we call that. We then want to set up the types property. So we call setup and then we get the types. And then we want to specify what it's going to return. So it's going to return a list of category type DTOs. And we're going to set up a couple of new ones for that. So we'll set one up with an ID of two and computers. And one of four, which has a name of software. We have parameterized this test by marking it as theory. We're passing in an ID. We're going to write two separate tests, one with an ID of two and one with an ID of seven. Now, because we've set up the category storage service mock types property with a category of two, we'd expect that to return an instance when we call the get category type. But when we pass in seven, we'd expect that to return null. Let's now call the get category type method from the category service. So we call the category service. So that's the instance that we created earlier. And we get the category type based on the ID that we're passing through from these tests up here. Now we can write our assert methods. We can say if the ID is two, we want to say that the assert is equivalent. So we pass in the response and it's equivalent to a new category type DTO where the ID is two and the name is computers. Otherwise we'll assume that it's null. It's picked up our X unit tests in the test project. Let's run them to see if they pass. And they've both passed, meaning our X unit tests are successfully set up. You can also write XUnit tests for other classes that inject services, like this Web API controller. We're injecting a couple of services and we're storing the references to them in private read only fields. 
Then we're going to unit test this get category type method and test out the response, ensuring that we got the right value and also that it's returning an OK response. We set up the test class in a similar way to the category service test. So we've mocked up services that are injected through dependency injection. We've created new instances for them in the initializer. And when we create a new instance of the Web API controller, we pass through objects of them as references. Now we've written this test. We've set up mock data for the get category type method in the category service mock. And in the category computer storage service mock, we've also set up mock data for the types property. We're calling the get category type method in the Web API controller. We can now write our tests. First, we want to make sure that it returns an OK object response. To do that, we call assert is type. And we pass in the type that we expect as the generic type. And we pass in the act of the parameter. Afterwards, we want to test a response from the value. So what we get from the category and the key category is what we want to test. To do that, we call assert equivalent. Now we need to bind the act value to an OK object response. And then we need to get the value property. Then we can test the value from that. So we'd expect the category to be a new category type DTO with an ID of two and a name of computers. And for the key category, we'd also expect the same. So we can copy and paste that. So we've mocked up the get category type method of two to return this category type DTO. And within the types property, we expect a category type DTO with an ID of two and computers. So when we have a look at the value in the response, we'd expect both the tests to have category type DTOs. Let's see if it passes. This is the test that we've just created. If we run it, the test is passing. So it's been successfully set up. So that's how you mock services that are injected in classes that you're unit testing. But what if you want to create real instances of those services? How do you do that? In program.cs, we've set up a category service implementation with a scope service lifetime. And for a keyed singleton lifetime, we set up a category computer storage service type with a key of computers. We need to create that in our X unit test. We can do that by creating a new service collection instance in our X unit test class. We can then add the services, then we build the service provider. Then we can start resolving the services. So we get the category computer storage service by calling service provider, the get required key service with the type and the key. We then need to create a new instance of the category service. And that is dependent on the I category storage service type with a key of computers. So we need to resolve that. We've already resolved it up here. So we just pass that in as the parameter. Then we create our web API controller and we pass in both of the real instances. Then we can write our unit tests as we did before. So we don't have to do any mocking because we're not mocking this time. We just need to call the method from the web API controller and then write our tests. And then we're going to run them to see if they pass. This is the test that corresponds to it. And when we run it, it has successfully passed. If you're testing real instances of services, just remember that all dependencies will need a real instance. This could become complex, particularly if you've got a lot of services that you're dependent on, and also if they rely on external sources like a database. Now, when using dependency injection, a lot of common issues can occur. Watch this video next to find out what they are. And you can download the code example for this tutorial by going to roundthecode.com examples. There's also a link for it in the YouTube video description. Leave any comments that you have about testing services with XUnit and I'll see you on the next video.